Listen to the red-winged blackbirds. Can you hear them? It's spring, and there's a robin over there. Right over there, there's a robin. It's finally spring. Out on the farm. Welcome back to Digging with Deej. Today we're going to take the Delta 4000 out on her maiden voyage. Uh, we are at, as you guessed it, the 1880 Victorian permission. Yes, this property has been pounded to death by several different machines. But the beauty of living in a state in the United States that has winters means the chance that the frost could possibly change the position of a coin or relic and what you may not have been able to detect last year you might actually discover this year so let's get out i'm going to be digging everything just to learn this machine the different target ids on this machine look at that toy ready Woo! Oh. Woo! <laughs> okay, my first signal was deep. And it's a little bitty washer. Look at that. Little bitty washer was a mid-tone. Okay, I got a really solid signal here. Now it's not being solid. Oh, it's only jumping. a dime signal but that doesn't mean it's going to be a dime so let's dig it up okay, I'm not very far off from the house and that dime signal was this some kind of a cap maybe a back of a pocket watch maybe that's what it looks like to me the back of a pocket watch look at the edge on that very cool relic well Every single machine has picked these up. It's another tube of ointment of some kind. It rang in, it bounced between zinc and dime. So, it's been christened with its first tube of ointment. This signal was bouncing between foil and aluminum. So I'm guessing it's a bottle cap or something like that. And it is in the clump. It said it was only three inches deep. Where I got another dime signal, but it was a real weird. It's got copper and it was bouncing two numbers. I've never seen a nail like this before. It's got copper attached to it. Look at that. That's weird. Anybody knows what kind of nail that is? Let me know. Now well, I dug this deep hole and this is what I pulled out. A nut. A giant staple and a pencil sharp. Old sidewalk. It doesn't go to anything anymore. Look at this. Right here is where I dug my first V nickel and my first Canadian large scent of my life. It fanned out. And then there was a full porch here, which there is no longer. You can see where it attached up there. This is all original. And this was an accidental find. I laid my pinpointer down and I pulled this out. And I have no idea what that is. It goes all the way through. So that had two of those 
curly hook things with holes in them. And then the top looks like it might have had something that broke off too. I have no idea what that thing is. Anybody else have any idea? There's an arrow on it. Down, up, whatever. So I'm not sure what this is, if anybody has any ideas. Believe it or not, I got an 87 and I got my first coin. So the coins, there's still coins here. At least it looks like a coin. Yep, it's a dime. It is pretty yucky, though. I, I think it's probably clad. It doesn't act like it's silver. Let me get my toothbrush out and clean it up. Okay. It is a 1973. It's clad. Hey, the first coin with the Technetics Delta 4000. Could be junk, but it's diggable, that's for sure. Just goes to show you, good signals aren't always good targets. Yeah, I had a solid 85 signal. I opened the hole up. I'm trying to find it. You can see what it was. It was ringing 85 steady. Yep. Now it's saying 57 since I opened up 61. Okay, let's see what we got. It started out so good. That can happen sometimes when you open up the earth. The signal can drop. Sometimes it can go up. Yeah, I'm right on it, whatever it is. Oh, I feel something. What's that? Oh, what is that? That's weird. Okay, does anybody have any idea? U-bolt, modern stuff. U-bolt stuck into something. Modern stuff. Hey, it was a good signal. It made my heart go pitter-patter. Where are you? 79, 74. Hmm, I lost my 90. Nothing. Oh, there. Whoa. That's got to be junk. If it hits 99, I'm superstitious. It's junk. Too. Oh, that's really erratic. It's probably junk, but we're going to dig it to see what it is. Well, it took me a while to find it. I mean, that's how far down. It's like a piece of a pendant or something that got snapped off, or I don't know, a piece of wire. I don't know. That teeny tiny thing that will fit on my index finger. Look at that. Weird. I will say this machine is sensitive. So I hope you enjoyed going out digging with me with the Technetics Delta 4000. I'm having a blast with it. It's a fun machine. And I will see you in a park for a popcorn clad hunt next so stay tuned thanks for watching